Well, a PhD graduate at the Nelson Mandela University has created what he believes could help ESCOM better manage its turbine rotors. Dr. Shanganani Nyembe is a microscope scientist at the Center for High Resolution Transmission Electron Microscopy at the University and joins us now uh, for this conversation. Dr. Nyembe, thank you so much for your time and thank you for joining us on our platform. I think we can all agree that ESCOM needs all the help uh, that it can get uh, to help turn the lights on. Talk to us about this invention and just how it might do that. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for having me on the show. Well, uh, firstly, I, I think I need to look at uh, history first. Uh, several years ago, ESCOM established what we call ESCOM Power Plant Engineering Institute, which uh, uh, created a platform for research uh, and postgraduate education between ESCOM and uh, universities. So this platform, what it does, it, it trains uh, as com technicians and engineers, as well as postgraduate students at the universities. So this project I'm doing, uh, it is funded by that institute, which is under ESCOM. We call it AP. So uh, where do we get in? Where do I get in? Uh, the project is funded by that institution. Uh, it is divided in specialization centers. So there is one at University of Cape Town which funded my research. Mm. We call it a Materials and Mechanics Specialization Center. Mm. So I, I'm on the other hand, I am using uh, electron microscopes to study the power plant components. So what we do is uh, try to find new ways of uh, uh, assessing the life of the component so that it can be safely uh, uh, managed and can operate without uh, causing uh, some accidents or damages. So that's the main part. So we are working with uh, uh, AP, which is part of ESCOM. And uh, the, the methods uh, we used, uh, we created uh, these methods using electron microscopes, uh, which is, uh, I mean, it's not easy to explain them. But uh, it's not like we're coming up with uh, some new methods that uh, can uh, change a uh, situation, but uh, uh, it can improve safety of the power plant. Mm. You know, Dr. Nyembe, your invention is coming at a fascinating time because, uh, as you know, our electricity minister uh, has of late been talking about uh, expanding uh, the lifespan of our coal-fired power station uh, to the dismay of, of many sectors of a society. But there's been a lot of pushback, one, because of how much it's likely to cost, but just in terms of vi the viability of the entire thing. How would your invention uh, that specifically deals with the term turbine rotors, and you're looking at, you know, the, the component of these uh, plants, would that aid in, in extending the lifespan of these, of these power plants? Yes, it is true that uh, the minister uh, is planning to extend the life of the power plant component. On the other hand, I'm working on the rotors, which are the most expensive part of the power plant. Uh, so uh, the industry uses uh, industry standards to assess the life. When I'm saying assess the life, they want to estimate at what time will the component break. So, and then so that they can estimate uh, the remain the, the life of the component when they extending it. So in my case, uh, we developed a, a microstructure based method, which will simply supplement uh, or help the industry. Uh, in life assess assessment, mm -hmm. so uh, so that uh, they can safely identify maybe uh, uh, how long will the component last when they extend uh, the, the operation. Incredible stuff. Well, Dr. Nyemba, I do understand that your story uh, as it relates to ESCOM is one that, of course, is close to your heart outside of just how much it has important, imparted in terms of your, your studies. But as a young child, I think you've always been uh, curious about the happenings and the going-ons uh, at, at, at ESCOM. And in terms of, you know, wanting a career or a profession, this is something that you have kind of always had your heart's desire set on. Talk to us about that. 
when I as a child, uh, I had a dream to work for ESCOM because uh, we had a uh, Kolupudwara Zulu, uh, which was working for ESCOM. You see them climbing uh, those uh, pylons, and then I was like, okay, I want to work for ESCOM. But unfortunately, uh, you know, financial situation, uh, I didn't uh, have enough money to go for engineering course, which uh, was going to propel me to that uh, direction. But fortunate enough, uh, I ended up joining the AP program, which was established by ESCOM. So now uh, I think I'm involved in a better way in this research, uh, uh, which is uh, very cu crucial for, for, for me as a, a young scientist. Yeah. I mean, talk about paying it forward, you know. Um, but I think another important element of, of the story, Dr. Nyemba, is the fact that uh, South Africa does have the solutions to a lot of the problems that we're facing. We hear it often, but I think uh, because of, you know, just how dire the circumstances often looks, it's hard to buy into uh, that narrative and that idea. Uh, would you say that, you know, that's your story, essentially, uh, the story that is proof of the fact that when it comes to the challenges, the crises that we're facing as a country, very often the solutions can be found in our, in our own communities. Yes, yeah, yes, it is true. The solutions can be found in our communities. Uh, after all, it's a South African problem, so it can be solved by South Africans. That's what I believe in. Indeed. So it is quite true, yes. Indeed. Well, Dr. Nyembe, we'll leave it there for now. That's Dr. Sangarani Nyembe, who has successfully uh, created an invention that is able to assess the lifespan of power plants. Very critical, especially for our energy crisis. Well, let's